iconic and nationally acclaimed restaurant, Lucille's, is offering a special limited time offer menu for food and cocktails for the entire month for Black History Month. And joining us with the full spread, it smells divine, is general manager of Lucille's, Stephen Gray. Stephen, thanks so much for waking up with us. Oh, good morning, Maggie. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm excited. Okay. Lucille's is iconic. Tell everybody at home why you guys are so legendary. Oh, just the owner, uh, the, the the restaurant's name after Lucille's. Um, Chris Williams, the owner, is his great-grandmother, so uh, we use a lot of her uh, recipes to this day. Uh, she was a pioneer in the civil rights movement, entrepreneur, uh, you know, black businesswoman. She's done so many just pivotal things and kind of just paved the way for everybody. Right, and so it makes sense that you would celebrate Black History Month and go full out with some of her recipes. So tell me, what are you serving up? Oh, these, uh, this is her original recipe, her chili biscuits. Uh, she seems to, uh, she served with so many icons, uh, Martin Luther King, oh um, uh, uh, Theodore, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, um, one of the presidents, right. uh, and so forth. So uh, it's our number one selling appetizer, so we wanted to just bring it on the show today it's to gorgeous. kind of showcase that, so. Mm -hmm. And what about this? Uh, we have our chicken boudin balls. It's gonna be one of our um, Black History Month uh, items. Chicken and rice uh, has a sweet rum loss sauce underneath. Uh, it's currently our number one selling uh, appetizer off of our uh, new limited time only menus right now, so. And this, I mean, shut up and take my money. This uh, looks amazing. Yeah, this is our oxtails, one of our, um, our known dishes. Okay. Uh, it's braised, uh, really suckling, very tender. Mm. It's over uh, underneath grits. Um, we also brought the Yardbird, uh, which is um, uh, our number one, uh, number one actual selling item off the dinner menu. Uh, you can do white meat or dark meat chicken. has a chicken gravy sauce on top, uh, microgreens as a garnish, mashed potatoes and turnips. Are you all drooling at home? Because I'm drooling. This is amazing. And of course, we need to toast to Miss Lucille and all of the other icons for Black History Month. So tell me, what's shaking? Oh, uh, we brought uh, the Renaissance, um, one of our uh, cocktails off of Black History Month. Okay. Uh, we're going to make this. Uh, this is basically a spin off of Old Fashioned. Uh, we're using Uncle Nearest. Uh, Uncle Nearest and uh, Howie Vaca are the two uh, featured uh, black distillers we're using for the month of uh, February since they're, uh, you know, black owned. So yeah. we wanted to just showcase that. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Old Fashioned, like I said. So I have cocoa uh, bitters, uh, banana moaning, uh, and Uncle Nearest as the base. So. Oh, this is amazing. Now, what does it mean to you to work at this legendary restaurant and celebrate Black History Month through this cuisine. Yeah, it's so much history. Uh, we're just really grateful to get back to the community, uh, you know, just through culinary excellence. You know, that's why uh, uh, we have the food and cocktails here. Uh, and it kind of just speaks volumes to, to the community uh, and to the city of Houston. You know, so we're just so proud to honor uh, both of those, uh, those legacies. And if those walls could talk, I mean, from those diners at the restaurant, that is absolutely amazing. And of course, we're still in a little Mardi Gras. You had me at the sprinkles. What is this? Uh, this is our king cake shot. Uh, it's made with uh, Uncle Nears, uh, rum chata, uh, cinnamon on it, and of course it's garnished with sprinkles uh, and cream cheese frosting. And quickly, what's this? Uh, this is our Harlem meal. It's made with highway vodka as well. I was going to have moaning, ginger beer, and lemon juice. You know what? I love that it's in a copper mug. I will not have a mule unless it's in a copper mug. My Nana always served hers in a copper mug and I got her glasses. So mm -hmm. I'm big on that. Where can everybody go for more and to check out this menu? So we have these items uh, for the uh, rest of the month of February. Uh, we're also uh, still doing our Valentine's Day dinner uh, menu as well this week. We have a surf and turf we're doing uh, with a uh, homemade oyster uh, uh, aioli sauce with that. Oh. Uh, we're also doing a uh, per blanc lemon uh, glazed salmon as well. 